So a lot of white people, especially people who are poor, they just don't understand how the system works. And so you get a lot of these racist comments from typically white people who are poor or just poor Americans in general who don't understand how the system works. And so, you know, I, I see even like some black YouTubers or people on social media that will make these exact same comments about these quote unquote illegals coming into the coming into the country. And of course, m mind you, these people are working, taking a lot of jobs that Americans probably wouldn't even want to take. Many of the ones I live here in New York City, many of the ones that I see here typically work in your kitchens, taking out the garbage. Uh, they do some sort of delivery, maybe with Uber Eats. You see them on the little mopeds. They come around in the city all the time. And a lot of them handle work that probably most Americans wouldn't do. Or as they say, well, it's because they don't pay a living wage. And so to help keep prices lower so that people's standard of living can be higher so that you're not paying exorbitant prices for goods and services in the city, they will go out and bring in labor from over the overseas right and of course those people will typically take less jobs you know there's been numerous reports of these people you know living 10 15 into a house etc and you get stuff like this that really just shows a lot of people don't understand how the system works and so it reads illegal aliens sent 56 billion in cash to their home countries last year alone that's after their kids enjoyed free education free lunches and free medical care and of course the the narrative is it's paid for by you now it's important to understand that more than 60 percent of americans pay no federal tax most taxes are paid for by the wealthy the people who own the people who actually own the country right the top i think it's like the top 20 percent pay 80 percent of all taxes so this narrative of the paid for by you of course, it's just a cope. It's a coping mechanism for many of these people who are, are just a common folk. They're the common rabble. Now, if you're a single white man, eh, maybe you're a net taxpayer. If your pay is high enough, you might be considered a net taxpayer. But most white people are not net taxpayers. Most of them, in fact, welfare, along with public housing, was created for, for white people. It was created overwhelmingly for poor whites and blacks were actually excluded from housing the housing that was built let's say like in the 1920s which is where most of these project buildings come from was designed and created for primarily by for white people for poor white people who couldn't afford who couldn't afford housing they were too poor so the government made homes for them and excluded blacks it wasn't until years of protesting that finally blacks were allowed to have some sort of housing that was created for them and overwhelmingly it had to be segregated from poor whites and then eventually the government just pushed poor black people into these project buildings that were originally for white people and then they just took black labor and then took it out of the banking sector and lent it to white people but that's neither here or there in this video, uh, we're talking about that the way that the system works, again, America creates the currency out of thin air. So as long as another country is willing to accept that currency as a form of payment, well, then your system can continue to go on. The, America, the, uh, the American government, the country, has over one trillion annually in deficits, meaning that in an, if the global economy, you supply goods and services or you have to create money and you create a deficit. Now, of course, America can do that because the dollar is the world reserve currency. And so most of these poor people who enjoy a lot of these free services, I mean, shoot, I, I work in a hospital. So I know a lot of these people just are a revolving door in the hospital. They don't pay any taxes at all. Most of these people are drug addicts or on some form of welfare. And this is why they kind of like pat themselves on the shoulder talking about this is our money. This is this is our taxes. And it's just a cope. It's, a, it's the cope of the poor. And so if they don't understand how the system works, 
that as long as this country is willing to accept your dollar as a form of payment, well, then you can continue to create that currency out of thin air and buy the stuff that they produce. But again, this is what people just don't understand. They have absolutely no understanding of how the system works. And so you see this dumb, these dumb racist comments, typically on poor white people's uh, pages. And it, ju it just shows that they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. But it kind of makes them feel good about their plight because they really don't want to go out there and work hard or create or create. And again, it's related to the system. This is related to the system of things. Of course, that at one point, they enjoyed so much because they benefited from it. And then, of course, socialism, as it goes on, it just benefits the people at the top uh, as wealth continue to get driven towards the top of the food chain. And then they realize, well, you're just part of the rabble. You thought you were somebody until time goes by and you realize that you're not right as margaret thatcher said eventually you run out of other people's money and the only thing that you can do is drive people into poverty and this is what you get you get this sort of a mindset of the us versus them the whites versus the blacks uh, the illegals versus the you know the the native citizens right we, we, this is our country even though we took it from the native americans but again that's another conversation for another video that, of course, they never want to have this sort of a discussion in relation to. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.